Good morning YouTube, how's everyone doing? Bent Crypto here, here to give you another video. Today's video is going to be about Void Exchange and how underrated Void has been taken for granted lately. Alright, uh, I want to give a shout out to Greenhouse Telegram Group. Uh, if you are a new user, hit that like button, subscribe button, and hit that bell for the notification. You'll get notified when I drop a video. A useful video. So anyways, going forward, Void. Void, basically Uniswap um, on the Tron blockchain. All right, I did make a video about this uh, before advising. I did say advise, <laughs> but I was mentioning that the fact um, the bottom could be 1.56 Tron per Void. All right, someone did drop this. And I um, took this into consideration, especially with the fact that the developer, a uh, very smart guy, Sai. So I know I know his potential. So I basically was converting my boss to void. So I was converting boss to void at when it was 1.7 Tron and below. I started converting because I'm limited to 500 per removal now that's another thing we're going to go over is the limitations on that aspect in order to control or at least make sure to safeguard any um heavy dumps or heavy heavy uh heavy withdrawals or heavy deposits as you can see there's this uh this cushion here to, to at least ensure that the price doesn't drop too much or it doesn't slip too much so as you can see, I have almost almost removed all of the boss tokens. I have placed all my boss tokens into staking. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I am expecting further development. I did see that there's going to be a new pair listed. We're going to be listing Token as one of the trading pairs. Uh, let me get that for you here. There's also more interesting information in terms of partnerships here. So, uh, Boss Gaming Partnership with Dapp Stats. Looks like they're going to be running something with Dapp Stats. Uh, uh, Void and Boss Partnership with T2X. I always get that mixed up. So what's going to happen is all divs collected will be split like so 50% will be collected and used to buy back void from the void Tron Dex pair. This is also what got me to start swapping my boss to void when void was low. All right. So 50% of the divs from the T2X contract that they're going to be uh, staking on. They're going to use those Tron divs to buy back from the Void Tron Dex pair. 50, uh, sorry, that's 50% going to that. 25% will be collected and dropped each week to the Void Glass div pool. 25% will be collected and dropped each week to the Boss Profit Sharing contract. All right. If you're not aware, Boss token is going to be limited to 3 million now no longer going to have a, a total supply of 20 million it's going to be capped at 3 million all right uh like i said the new pair that's going to be coming out on august 16th you can you can you can deposit your token into the contract at this time the trading is going to start on the 17th of August for Tukin. So that is actually going to come, I think, right in time, right in time for the airdrop. So the airdrop for Tukin is coming very soon. No, staking. So if you go to staking, you're going to see how much time is left and what's probably going to happen so 11 days so that dex is going to come out before that what's going to happen is there's going to be more locked up there's going to be more 
uh, tokens locked up, which could then increase the price. So with saying that, Tukin was trading over one last night and I was definitely arbing this. So I was buying at one, I was selling at one, 1 1.2 on Oiko swap. All right, I also am coming up with a different strategy uh, with Tukin and I'll provide you with that strategy once I solidify it. All right, void swap. Here's an article that will describe to you how void swap works how they are putting that mechanism in place where you where you cannot basically um, drop the price too quickly by with by heavy withdrawals or heavy deposits so or if there's too many withdrawals from users it will put a timer in place and lock it so that it there's not a heavy drop or slippage in price so all deposits and withdrawals to the liquidity pool incur a 10 percent fee this fee splits and sends eight percent to liquidity uh divs pool to drop two percent each day one percent is swapped for trx and is sent to the void swap divs pool to drop two percent each day and one percent is set aside for dev cost service and maintenance fees right a 0.3% trading fee is charged with every swap made. There's also a 3% burn with every transaction due to the void deflationary token mechanism. The fee drops to 0.2% for users with more than 10,000 void state in the void swap dis pool. So I am accumulating I should get to 10,000. I don't think I'm going to get to 10,000 based off of the, the, the boss tokens that I have. Uh, I am going to, I'm continuously staking the, the void that I'm getting out of that boss pair, that vo the void boss uh, token pair. So I'm probably getting roughly around uh, point. I have, I have to do the math. But at point two, I was getting over, I was getting about seven. So I'm probably going to get about 14 a day here shortly. And yeah, I'm just going to see how long I can ride, ride it out in the staking pool and then uh, see where I'm at from there because this price is going to go up. So this is how I see it. Boss, the uh, uh, boss has boss token has been limited to 3 million, right? I'm not really sure where, which direction that's going. But I do know uh, void for me, at least it's a deflationary token. It's going to incur more value over time. So being that it was at an all time low um, from that graph, I'm going to utilize boss. So I was switching boss to void. And then if void goes back up to three, four Tron per, per uh, void, I can even go back and get back the the boss tokens that i that i um converted from so i see it as a win-win in a sense because boss token i did i did go in heavy and didn't get my initial back so this is going to be a play to try and get um to get more out of the initial investment so yeah i was i was swing trading token last night uh, just checking, checking the, the, the see if the FOMO is going to start kicking in soon, which it might. So let's see how it goes from there. I was also uh, trading the crap out of JST. Um, it looks like somebody is swing trading this hard, man. I mean, setting buys, setting sells. B Bank of Tron still going strong. Um, can't complain right now. I put in 450 plus thousand BTT in the BTT contract. I got back over 165,000 um, BTT. So I'm hoping this contract will outlast until I can get that back. So let's see how that goes. Bank crypto here. If you need anything, check me out in greenhouse and I appreciate the support. Take care.